Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I've got a really exciting video for you. I'm going to be counting down the very best 5 Chromebooks available in 2015. So running Google's Chrome OS rather than Windows, these thin and light laptops focus on what computing has really been all about ever since the late 1990s, which is the web browser. Most of these laptops have low impact processors and barely HD screens, but all of them are designed to last, most get between 7 and 9 hours of battery life, and then all of them come with very affordable price tags with the exception of the Chromebook Pixel. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this video, the top 5 Chromebooks you can get in 2015. So coming in at 5th place on this list is the Acer Chromebook 13, which is powered by an Nvidia Tegra K1 processor, weighs 3.31 pounds, and is a 13.3 inch 1080p resolution screen. Although this laptop doesn't multitask very well, it has excellent battery life and a very portable design, so for the price of $279, you're likely to enjoy the simplicity and productivity of Acer's laptop. But coming in at 4th place on this list is the Lenovo N20p, which is really a Chromebook that's all about design. The best feature of this laptop is the N20P's 300 degree hinge, which lets you flip the N20P's display all the way backward into stand mode, which lends itself nicely to viewing movies or showing presentations. The touchscreen on this laptop is very responsive, and although Chrome OS isn't entirely tailored to touch yet since it is a largely browser based operating system, the touchscreen is kind of a nice feature, and it's very reminiscent of Windows 8.1 hybrids. Honestly, the N20P isn't very tuned for business use, but it offers great versatility for a leisure device. Now coming in at number 3 on this list is the Toshiba Chromebook 2, which is a gorgeous and affordable laptop that doesn't have many weaknesses. This comes with more RAM and a full HD 1080p screen, making it a step up from most other models in its class like the Samsung Chromebook 2 and the Acer C720. The only slight problem with the Toshiba Chromebook 2 is its price of $329, which is kind of getting towards the territory of an affordable Windows 8.1 laptop as opposed to a Chromebook. That being said though, the 1080p screen on this laptop is again a huge bonus, and the laptop speakers are made by Skullcandy, so they're very very good as well. This again is a really good all around Chromebook that delivers on a lot of different fronts. But coming in at second place on this list is the Dell Chromebook 11, which goes for $249 and packs in a ton of features that are typically reserved for more extensive business notebooks. For instance, the Chromebook 11 offers an 180 degree reinforced hinge, a rugged design that you can take with you almost anywhere, a sealed keyboard and trackpad, and a great typing experience inside an affordable package. Although this laptop is designed primarily for education and business purposes, it's actually got some really good stereo speakers and a fairly good display that make it really good for media consumption. But anyways, that brings us to the number one spot on this list in the very best Chromebook of 2015, which is the 2015 edition of the Chromebook Pixel. This is outfitted with a Core i5 processor, USB 3.1 ports, a high resolution screen, and more RAM than you'll ever need, so it really sets a high bar for Chrome OS machines for years to come. Power and performance aside, the Pixel is also one of the few Chromebooks that feels like it has itself completely figured out. The build quality of this machine is exquisite, and the design has been engineered down to a science. What's more, its high res screen, impeccable keyboard, and trackpad all help to round out the Pixel as one excellent premium package that really can't be beat by any other. But with that said, the Chromebook Pixel also does at the highest price of any other Chromebook. It starts at $999, which is definitely not a bargain when you're talking about Google's web-based OS. For that price, you get two or even three other Chromebooks, or a fairly nice Windows 8.1 machine. So before you go out and get the Chromebook Pixel, I would definitely recommend checking out some other Chromebooks first. But anyways, let me know your favorite Chromebook of 2015 in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or you're interested by some of the laptops on this list, and I will see you next time. Let's <laughs> go.